Hello and welcome to a print at home video from High Point Center for Printmaking. My name is Tyler Green. I am the Education and Community Programs Manager at High Point. Today well, I will be showing a technique to create monoprints using acrylic paints and common art supplies. Traditionally done with wood and ink, this is a technique similar to jigsaw relief. The cut pieces will fit together to create different color areas, like a puzzle. Let's take a look at the basic supplies. The plate or matrix that I will use is a piece of laminated cardboard. This one was cut from a sparkling water box. A cereal box, cracker box, macaroni box, anything like that will do, as long as it has that laminated side. We've got scissors, you know about those, X-Acto blade, a box cutter can also work, printmaking paper, I have Stonehenge printmaking paper. You could also use construction paper or anything somewhat smooth that can handle wet media. I've got foam brushes. Paint brushes would also work. Acrylic paint, temper paint can also work. It's nice to have at least a set of primary colors and black and white to get you started. Wooden spatula or spoon. This is optional, just your hands can work great. This is to press the paper into your matrix. You'll want water, I'm using a clean hummus container, a palette, also a hummus container, I really like hummus, pencils, and an eraser. Something to cover your workstation, I'm using newsprint, newspaper, craft paper, or paper grocery bags can work too. All right, let's get started. We are first going to sketch our ideas onto our plate. Do this on the bare side. No need to flip in imagery or words here since the paint will go on the other side. This will make a little more sense in a bit. I'm going to keep my image simple and graphic. Especially starting out, I recommend you do the same. Plan to have two or three stencils or puzzle pieces. This abstract, this abstract face will have an inside and an outside stencil. I'm keeping details large and bold so they don't fall apart. Plus, the boldness creates a type of graphic image that printmaking is very good at. Cut your stencils carefully and slowly. Angle the blade in the direction you are going, rotate the plate as you go, and lift up the blade when you are finished with the direction you're going in. Corners sometimes stay together, so be careful when separating your jigsaw pieces. You may need to go back in and cut some more. I could also do this with scissors, but I prefer the X-Acto blade or box cutter. If something accidentally gets cut off, you could use tape to repair it. Put the tape on the raw cardboard side. You could even use some of that acrylic paint to help seal it in uh, and make it into one piece again. All right, let's get to the workstation and get ready for printing. To start off printing, it's a good idea to plan your colors. You can always change this as you go. I'll use black for the outside and red for the inside. Put some paint in your palette. Mix in a tiny amount of water. Careful not to make it too wet. You want the paint to stay a bit thick and tacky so that it will stick to your plate. This first layer I will lay face down on my printing paper, nice and careful, trying not to get fingerprints on the paper. I put newsprint down over all of this to keep things clean and pressed down firmly with my fingers. Let's see how it turns out. All right, not a bad first impression. Let's try a few more. Th 
this one, I'm going to try to do some dabbing with my foam brush to get a thicker layer of paint and maybe a different texture. Okay, you can see the dabbed areas are very solid. This is great for more detailed spots. I was still very careful to have a thin layer of paint. If things get too thick, the paint will squish out of the plate while printing and create, let's say, interesting effects. You may have to play with the paint amounts to get things to work for you. Also, be, be sure you print before things dry out. This is part of why I made such a small print. I can work quickly and avoid drying. This one I'll try dabbing over the whole thing to see what it looks like. I'll leave the outside of this stencil unfinished to give it a softer, more painterly edge. Excellent. Nice and solid. Alright, let's move on to the other stencil, the other puzzle piece in our mini jigsaw. I'm going to grab a clean brush and use a clean section of my palette. I decided to try out blending two colors, yellow and red, on my brush and dabbing them onto the stencil. The X-Acto blade can be helpful to pick up stencils when wet. Notice how I'm careful, careful to only hold the plate by the edges. This is to keep my hands as clean as possible. Always be aware of where the wet paint is. Now let's line up this with one of our prints. Lay that face down, put a dry piece of newsprint over it, and print. There we go. This is looking real nice. Let's try one more for good measure. Again, always checking my hands. I'll wipe them on a rag or on my apron if they're dirty, keeping them clean. Okay, very cool. Let's do a side by side. Okay, there we have it. A simple way to do multiple color relief printing with acrylic paint and cardboard. Happy printing. Bye.